Well, hi. I'm the Rifter. And this is my nightmare. Of course it is. Well, it's always going to be my nightmare. But my last episode, not too many comments on it. And uh, I, I thought there would be more. But uh, moving on. This today kind of feeds into the last episode of what's going on right now. And I just read this today, even though it came out in May, on May 12th of this year. And it's just titled, and you can, look, you can Google it if you want. This is the title. Dissatisfied retail workers are leaving the industry because of abusive customers and low pay. And that's making the labor crunch worse. Somewhere it said 13.5%. Like, before the pandemic began, we're, we're still not back to pre-pandemic levels of employees because they're they're still 13 and a half percent below what they were before the pandemic and they there were so many layoffs so this is kind of a message to customers of Walmart Lowe's Home Depot HH Greg if they're still open I don't even know if they're still a business um, fast food any fast food McDonald's Taco Bell whatever you are going to have to start standing behind your employees when a bad customer comes along look I am a customer a customer is not always right in fact times when I was the customer I wasn't always right and you know whether it was a discount or, or what I never flew off the handle the only time that I really got irritated and bent out of shape and I still didn't... Well, there were, there were two times. And I, I still didn't yell about it, okay? I, I was stirring one time. So when I was deployed uh, in the Army, I was with Sprint. And I put my plan on a military suspension plan. Which, if you didn't know that, some cell phone car carriers, they have a military suspension plan where you don't have to pay your monthly bill. You call them and say, hey, I need to suspend my plan because I'm being deployed. So they'll put a hold on your contract for however long you're deployed. Then when you come back, you call them up and say, hey, I'm back. Uh, turn my phone back on. You pick up right where you left off. So I did this with Sprint. I'm like, hey, I, I want to use I want to use my military suspension plan because I'm being deployed. Okay, no problem. I come back and like when you try to dial a number, it immediately goes to Sprint, and they're like, "Ah, oh, Sprint, how can I help you?" Whatever. And I'm like, "Hi, my name is the Rifter. I would like to um, take my service off of the military suspension plan." And they're like, "Okay, you making any changes?" I'm like, "Nope. I want everything back the way it was." They're like, "Okay." Took about I don't know three or four minutes. You're all set. If it's it's probably no shock that I use a lot of internet. I specifically paid a high monthly premium because I wanted unlimited internet. This was back in 2004 or 2005. And it was a thing back then. And plus it was a flip phone. And what they didn't know is I hooked it to my computer to get internet because I could, I mean, I didn't get paid enough to afford cable in the barracks. So anyway, two days later, my my internet won't work on my phone and I'm like what the heck so I try to call I don't remember who I tried to call I just I guess I was calling my brother to see what he was up to and it went immediately to sprint and I'm like hello I'm trying to call my brother what's what's going on and they I verified all my information they're like oh yeah you have a balance of three hundred eighty one dollars on your account I said how I just got back two days ago what how how do I have a balance and I said, and they said, your your internet, you're way over your data. You have three hundred eighty one dollars worth of data charges. I'm like, no, I have unlimited internet. And they're like, well, no, you don't. I said, yes, I do. I was on the military suspension plan. I told them to put it back the way it was, and they said it was okay. So I moved on. And they're like, well, sir, we can't do anything until you pay this balance. And I said, well, then. Uh, I want to talk to your supervisor because this isn't right. And they're like, well, sir, they're not going to be able to do anything for you because uh, you need to pay this bill. And that's that's when I got mad. <laughs> and uh, 
I didn't feel bad about it because they were just giving me crap. And I said, you need to go and look at the last two months. I haven't used my phone. You need to go look and see what's going on because I had unlimited internet on there and you need to reverse these charges now. This isn't, this isn't right. And after about two or three minutes, I was like, I want to talk to your supervisor. Talk to the supervisor. They went back and looked and they're like, oh yeah, you're right. I was like, okay, thank you. I mean, I'm not trying to pull one over on you guys. I said I wanted everything to go back the way it was. And you, you didn't do it. That was the only time I really ever got mad. Still don't feel bad about that one because it would have been one thing if the person would have been like, well, let me let me check it out. And they checked it out and they're like, oh, wow, yeah, that's somebody messed up. Uh, let me fix that. I'm like, okay. But no, they, they wanted to argue with me and be like, well, we're not doing anything until you pay this off. Well, guess what? Yeah, you are. That's the thing. I, I'm not a difficult customer. I go into a store, I buy something, and I take it home. But here's the message to all the retail customers. You're not always right. I'm not always right. In that instance, I was. Now, sometimes I'll ask, well, shouldn't this be like this? And they'll be like, no. And they'll be like, okay, that makes sense. Whatever. But, I mean, I just ask questions. It's not like I'm snotty about it. But you're, you're going to have to back your employees at some point. And let me be very clear, at my Lowe's store, other than the bullcrap that went down that made me walk out before my shift, uh, before my shift started, they, they backed me up, usually. I had about 13 years in, and they backed me up. The crap that trickled down to me was from the district manager, and you suck. And... You know, I know you had to do something. You still suck. Sorry. No, actually, I'm not sorry. You, you suck. And, and actually, I guess I should thank you because that really motivated me to get out of there. And, and that's the whole point. 13.5% down. Like, they're, they're opening things back up and they're, people aren't clamoring for the jobs even though they're taking away some of the federal funding for unemployment or whatever it was. The extra money that they're getting. It blows my mind because 13.5% down, that is a lot that people don't want, they don't want $18 an hour, they don't want $20 an hour to deal with people yelling at them. I never liked it, you know, and the problem with me, I was one of the employees that when somebody raised their voice, I would go back through and check things out, and they were still wrong, and I wouldn't do anything. I mean, it's... You're wrong sometimes, you know? And here's the thing. The person you're yelling at, just think about it. Right now, they're hiring so many new people that they didn't get adequate training. They didn't because they're trying to get out on the sales floor early to help you idiots. And I'm not talking about my subscribers. I'm not talking about my non-subscribers. All you customers know who you are. The ones that just... If something goes wrong or I had a guy come into the pro services end and he was a contractor and he he wanted some uh, strips to go on top of shingles so he could lay down metal roof and I was just having to be walking by and he goes hey how much are these and I was like well they're uh, let me see they were one by two by 96 and uh, inches so back then they were 96 cents he goes Phew. now they're like 250 with tax and he goes Phew. well I don't want to pay that much for them and I was like okay well if you buy enough of them there's a contractor pack and I think back then there was and it knocks me off he's like I'm pay I, I want to pay 15 cents a piece I was like <laughs> um no that, that's not how it works it's like and he's the bad thing was, supposedly this guy was like a preacher, and he just started swearing up and down and griping at me. And after about 30 or 40 seconds, I was like, hey, they are 96 cents a piece, unless you buy enough of them to get the contractor discount. Have a good day, sir. He kept on griping at me as I was walking off, but that's, that's how we get treated in a retail environment. And again, you know who you are out there yelling at somebody because your day has gotten interrupted for a little bit. My day gets interrupted all the time 
it's called adapting. That's what you have to do. But seriously, customers, they're not trained well, okay? All the employees that you're yelling at, getting mad at, it's like, oh, why do they put the new person out here? It's all they have, you know? And I'm not saying that retail employees are bad. They're not. They're trying their best. Well, most of them are. I know a few that didn't want to. I was one of those people that didn't want to be there. I mean, you could tell on my face I didn't want to be there, but I still gave good customer service. E even though when they walked off, I was like, <clears throat> Or I went out back and I started breaking stuff. I just thought it was really interesting. I know this video is running long. I, I only meant this to be a really short video. But just think about that. All this time you're having to wait for things. You have to wait an extra two minutes. Ooh. Man. I, I feel so bad for you. Well, there's people starving in the world. But I'm going to feel bad for you because you had to wait an extra two minutes. Go look at something else. You know? I, I've... At my own store, when I needed to do, when I needed something, I've had to wait five minutes. I didn't care. I know people are busy. You want, you want a whole uh, bunk of deck boards, and you think that the forklift driver is there specifically for you, and then you want them to pick through and get straight ones. No, that's not how it works. And you know. My, my thing, it was just as important as the other person's, but they were getting something for someone else. I think I needed cinder blocks. And I mean, just lay off, you know? You should be thanking the retail worker for even showing up, having to deal with you know, crappy customers like you. And again, I know my subscribers are watching this and they're thinking I'm talking to them. I'm not. I'm talking to whoever is listening and they know who they are. They really do. And if you don't, you need to, you really need to uh, do a reassessment of your whole station in life. Anyway, running way too long. I, I'm at 517 subscribers. I can't thank all of you enough. If, if you like this video, give it a like, you know, subscribe, help me out. And again, this video is designed to make people stop and think before they start yelling. So if you are a retail employee and you've ever had someone yell at you, give this video a thumbs up. That's the, How about we put it like that? Don't like it if you like the video. If you've ever had somebody yell at you in a retail environment, give this video a thumbs up. I'm going to like this video because I've taken my share of people yelling at me. Anyway, as always, I'm the Rifter. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye. See you.